Hi everybody. I am so excited. I um I am just so excited for this episode because I am going to be talking about golf fashion. And this could be, you know, any sort of active wear if you play tennis or just like to get outside and go for walks or runs. But I am focusing today because it's pretty much the only time I like to go outside and play a sport. We really got into it, my husband and I, during the quarantine. And there is a huge gap in the market for really cute women's golf clothing. So I decided to grab some fabrics and make my own. So for the fabrics, I picked up um, this glorious tie-dye nylon. So it's like a moisture wicking because sometimes it can you know, get rainy. And so this would be great. It actually has some drape to it and it's really nice and lightweight. So even like a little score, it has some stretch in it too, just a little bit. So I have this tie dye nylon and obviously I got it because it had some lime green in it. So I think maybe some even golf pants or maybe a score. I'm not sure. Well, you know what? I'll I'll be sure by the end of the sketching because I want to work out my ideas. So I have this, I want to make sort of a collection. I'll, I'll say that because I have kind of a collection or a capsule consists of, well, in my case, I'm consisting it of, you know, you have your one signature print and then you pull solids from that so everything can mix and match. So I have this lime green nylon fabric, um, which pulls up that lighter color in the tie dye and then I have this sort of mint stretch fabric so I have coordinating um it's like an athletic feathered uh stretch I already have a pair of leggings in that but sometimes it's really hot now I I would think I would be too hot to golf in leggings so I want to experiment with making some things in in this fabric that also coordinates with my tie dye print and then last, I have this sun safe fabric. I love how all my coordinates are just different colors of green. <laughs> but this is a UV protected fabric. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's, it's not stretchy. It's a woven. Actually, it has a little bit of stretch to it. You can kind of see my fingers there. Um, just like a, I don't want to say it's a twill or anything. It's just kind of a, you should really look what, type of woven this is but it's really lightweight and it's sun safe so I was thinking maybe like a romper with a collar I don't know but I really want to make kind of a one piece out of this uh that sun safe fabric so let's just start sketching out some ideas here oh I love all these <laughs> all these fabric and the key for golf really is to pockets um you need lots of pockets so I really don't even have patterns in mind. I'm just going to sketch out silhouettes and color blocking, and then I'm gonna go back into my pattern stash and do some research online and then find patterns for what I'm sketching out. So I'm just gonna pull my colors first. That looks like a good match. Oh no, where's my, <laughs> my testing um, piece of paper? Let me slide on over here. I got a new chair with wheels on it. My lovely sister-in-law passed it down to me so I can slide <laughs> without getting up. It's my, I keep all my sketching tools in, in this uh, cabinet here. I have some paper in here. Oh, oh there we go. Slide back over. <laughs> All right, yeah, because I like to test uh, the colors out before I sketch them. So let's just test out. Actually, this might go more with that. It's, well, I don't know. That's pretty close. I'll keep this one at the side. I would say that's more, like, representative of that because this is a lighter, um, I just really need to invest just, a marker pack that is just purely green. I don't think this one's quite that green. Um, let's see, blue, that's one of the blues. I need a darker blue too. Mm, actually, that's pretty good. I'll 
use these for the tie dye. And maybe there's a lighter blue too. Yeah. I guess there's a little right here that's that blue. Let's see. Yeah, this is a fabulous fabric. I got this at Blackbird Fabrics. I didn't realize how it was, it's very wide. And so I ordered a bunch of it thinking I just wanted to make leggings and I've made leggings. I've made a t-shirt. I've made shorts. I've made um, like a sports bra and I still have like a yard left. It's, I love when things like that happen. It's very, I think they still even have it uh, for sale. Color would be, you know, it kind of comes off as a little gray almost. I would say that's a nice representation of that. So maybe I'll use this light for there. We have this green for that and the blues and then this. All right, markers are out. I think I'm really most excited about this like sun safe. Um, I could not call it a romp. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to make it like a, looking like a golf dress, but it's a sport. And then maybe I can, um, I have some stretch green fabric, or I, I even just have white spandex. White spandex works as the under, the under shorts. So I'm just going to sketch out a golf dress with a built-in shorts underneath. Oh, that's going to be so cute. And what I've been really doing too is on my, I have my embroidery machine behind me, but I found so many cute golf embroideries, like to embroider your own like golf or your, sometimes I came up with like a little team name for, you know, people we always go golfing with. And so that's always fun or your initials because <laughs> golf balls are very expensive. I know sewing, a, a lot of people say that sewing, it does not save you money, but in these, I think for, if you're making your own golf clothes, 100% you're saving money if you make it yourself. Let's start. I know there's some certain restrictions too. When you, I'll stop talking soon. I get sketching, but I just to for the elements that you need to sketch in your design. I know often the courses that I go to, there is some dress code. So the one I go to, you can wear. You can't wear a sleeveless top unless it has a collar, but you can wear a t-shirt without a collar. So if I want my dress to be a tank dress, I need to build in kind of a collar to it. And I'm not sure about, um, yeah, it's just the one that I go to, but I'm sure it varies from golf course to golf course. So I'm going to start off with a finer, oops, this is an eight, I'm gonna go to a five. I like to start. five uh, pen width here. And let's just, okay. So I love like a, maybe you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, so I always like to think about what I like to sew as well. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit on this as well. Um, I'm going to build in like a button pocket. So it does all the way up from the seam. I'm just going to stand up and zoom in a little bit more on my sketch. Okay. There we go. There, nice and close so we can see. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to build in a little pocket. So up here, just like that. Collar. Not the best at drawing collars. I always need a little bit of practice when <laughs> when drawing a collar. Oh, I'll stop my head from getting in the way too. Sorry, I saw that got in the way. Um, let's kind of come up here. Let's do some buttons. That would be super cute. I think I do want to make this sleeveless. I'm going to 
want it too, too tight. I like my, my athletic clothes, if they're not in the stretch fabric, to have a little bit of room, wiggle room in them. There we go. And then maybe I'll have some sort of like little band here. It could even be an elastic waistband, actually. That would be nice and comfy here. And then draw in my skirt. I don't like them also too short. Sometimes I find when I go to the store and buy them, they're really, really short. And I like them to hit kind of mid-thigh. I don't like them super duper short. There we go. That's good. And maybe this kind of they gather into this elastic places. So this will have some movement up top here as well. There we go. Oh, and I'm forgetting the most important thing, pockets. So it definitely needs to have I think the hip pocket works too. Maybe I'll just kind of build that in kind of right there. And I think I'll do like a zippered welt on the back of the skirt too. But then underneath, you can kind of even, if you're sketching something and there's more than one layer to it, sometimes I just dot it in. So I'm just going to dash in dotted shorts so I know that they're there. So I'm going to make a pair of shorts that kind of come underneath the this skirt. And spandex shorts. Hands there. Sorry, my head keeps getting in the way. You'd think I'd uh, perfect that by now, but. <laughs> oh my gosh, should we even try to draw a golf club? <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, this is very cute. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like that. I think I might do like a little, little band on the, the top with a little bit of pizzazz to it. I'm going to do a little band and maybe a little pocket here. It's always good to have kind of a breast pocket. And I can do some embroidery on that as well. Oh, I have a little bunny visitor right beside me. <laughs> oh, this is very cute. How it'll look in that color. Oh, that was for. No, no, that was for my lighter one. I see that. Just trying to think if there's any way I could bring in like a print, like for the pocket or for the under collar and maybe the casing. Because the majority can be the sun safe fabric, but I think I want a little of color and maybe now that I'm just looking at this green fat I feel like it needs like a little what if I did even a hem border too of a different color like I did the waistband the placket and the armbands and the collar like a print I mean I could do the tie-dye no, I feel like it needs something more poppy. Like I like, I think because the tie dye is such a large scale print, it doesn't work as a little pop of color. That's good for an overall print. I think I need something with a smaller scale. I love how I now store my fabrics here. So I can just look at all my prints and see what I have to work with. Hmm. I just want like a little sporty uh, fabric too. 
method I used I have just a little bit of this left I know I've sketched this one out before but I really these two together this is my golf bag is green and black and I have a white hat I think actually this fabric could look really cute as an accent with this green fabric let's try it <laughs> let's definitely try it so I'm going to color in the green bits Oh yes, pop of neutral. Amanda says it reminds me of the shirt dress hack in the summer of So News. That's so true. Okay, let's sketch out. Okay, so I think I want the collar to be or maybe just the under collar. Let's do just the under collar. So I'll do the collar, the green, and the majority of the skirt can be this green. Oh, that's cute. And then we'll do, it's It'll be hard to kind of emulate this flower in uh, kind of that, a small portion of it, but I'll just certainly try. <laughs> Let's try to just kind of, I think this is good. The pocket, the armband, the waistband, and the hemband. I think that would be perfect. And now there's a little bit of flowers. Trying to at least get some of the color in each one of these pieces. It's definitely, is that a pink in there? It's like an orange. I don't pull an orange out. Marigold. Oh, I that color. Let's just kind of try and do a little flower. I'm going golfing on Saturday. I might just, if I strike gold here. Might just have to sew it up before <laughs> before the weekend. We definitely need to add some of the the green in because we're pulling in the green to actually match the fabric print. So I'll have to at least dot some of that on. That's like the leaves. They are. I like that. It's kind of it's looking good. So where's my um yeah, marker? Right beside me. Let's <laughs> kind of fill in. But just to give, again, not looking for perfection, just the idea of whatever print you are trying to sketch out. Okay, I think I, you know what, that was really sweet. I like that. I'll kind of come back up here. I like. I think it's good that I left the collar. I think it would be too much. So I have the armband, the pocket, the waistline casing, and the hemband in this print. And then we have the sun safe all in there. And so we have button up down the front, have an elastic the waist, it has pockets. This is going to be very cute. And I think maybe on the, I'm trying to think where I could put some sort of, maybe on the back. I can put like embroider a golf ball or something with at a flower. Maybe I'll, I'll just, I'm sure there's like a nice embroidery design. It would be cool to have some flowers and a golf ball to kind of bring in the theme 
uh, oh, that is very cute. Those fabrics actually go really, really nice together. And it'll be nice to use up this. I have, I've made outfits in this before, but they're for every day. So it'll be nice to kind of use it up, but for something different where um, it's more specific for an activity. All right, now I really want to play around with this tie-dye. I just, I like, do I just keep making golf dresses? There's so much fun. Or what about a jumpsuit? I was thinking, you know what? I, I always, when I first saw this, I had the idea to make shorts in this. I think that would be cute. I'm going to try to sketch out some. I thought the, um, the closet core pattern, the Pietra pants, but the short wide version, it has really deep pockets, which is great for golf. And I just thought the silhouette would be really, it would almost be kind of like a golf culotte. So let's, I'm going to do that because I, I've been that in my mind. So I want to try sketching that out. But, oh, this dress. Now I need to find a pattern that works. I, it's, it's pretty simple. I think I would, I definitely have a pattern that I already have that I can use that for. All right, so let's sketch out the Pietra pants in this lovely tie-dye. Then we can see maybe a coordinating shirt with that kind of heathered knit would be really cute. Maybe some like, like um, I don't know. I have to see. I was like a cutout, but I don't know. <laughs> maybe around the back. I'm not sure. So let's try this little. So remember to keep my back, my head <laughs> out of there. So here we go. Let's see. Because these, they have the wide version, it has like a really beautiful silhouette to it. It has that lovely. Seam. Like so. I think these would be super cute. Super cute for golf. Now I don't know what I'm going to do in that lime green nylon fabric. I wonder what that could be. Oh, I'm trying to think what kind of top I would want. Maybe like a, a cool, maybe I should just make a classic polo uh, with this kind of heathered knit, like a form-fitting polo shirt. That would be cute. I do love the idea. I love, I, oh, idea. I mean, what if I did a zip up? I did like a zip up pocket so it was like a turtleneck, a tank turtleneck. That's what I'm going to do. Because when you undo it, it gives the illusion of a, of a collar. I have some golf shirts that I've bought and it, it has that uh, zipper down and it qualifies. So I'm going to kind of do a little this. Oh, I love that silhouette with the kind of extended um, shoulders there. This one will be pretty form-fitting, so I'm not going to draw too many drag lines, but it will be tucked in, so there will be some, some drag lines. <laughs> Can't stop looking at my bunny. <laughs> um, and then we have the zipper pull. Just like a nice kind of zippered pocket there. I think that would be very cute.
Oh, I am loving this outfit already. This is going to be so cute. Okay, I'm going to do kind of, okay. I will admit I've never sketched out a tie-dye print before, so let's see how this goes. Uh, I guess I start with the lighter colors and then build on with the darker. I'm not really sure. Just going to try something. It might not work out. It might. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, and then let's try kind of a green. The key here is I'm not trying to extend you I still want to know that there's seams in there, so I'm not doing the print all over. I'm kind of containing the print in those panel lines. And I want to make sure I'm leaving some white space too, because there is some white space in, oh look, they kind of look like, <laughs> not there yet, <laughs> some white space in there. Need some, maybe I should just now bring in the darker blue. What is that darker blue? Maybe I should do some dots. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if dots really do anything. But it kind of does get really dark near the, the bottom. I'll probably cut it more out of this one because it has that green in there. like starts with the, I don't know, <laughs> I think my first tie-dye attempt is drastically failed. <laughs> well, well, I'll practice that one. I get the, I get the idea. It's tie-dye-ish, definitely. If I just add some gray in there, it'll kind of blend it all together. I knew I had a a color blend, a colorless blender marker. I've never used it before. What does that do? Okay, does that do anything? Does it mix them at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's try something new. There we go. Well, I, I kind of have the idea. Maybe I need to do some more. You just need to know when to stop. <laughs> okay. Well, and then here we have kind of this top. Oh, that is so lovely. I mean, the print failed, but the over, I think it'll look a lot better sewn with this tie-dye Pietra shorts and this kind of turtleneck athletic tank with an ex like an exposed sport zipper I think would be so cute. I think I even have some sport long zippers. That could be kind of cute too. Yes, I really, really like this. I love the shorts. I just, I need to go back to my tie-dye uh, sketching skills. <laughs> but you know what? Always something good to, to, look, to look at. I think I'm going to make just a plain sport with these. It is nice to have separates. I could make maybe a matching sport and a top with this lime green nylon, I'm thinking. Maybe a nice sport with a yoke and some pockets. Let me try that. Okay. So I'm trying to just think about what I like in a, a sport for golf. Sometimes I've seen them with really pretty kind of long yokes. I've seen them like really cute, like 
they have a yoke and they, oh, I should do a painted one. I should do some nice plates. Uh, I could do some, like in, I could do some inverted plates. Like, uh, let's see, I could do, try it. Four plates, two on each side of center front. That could be cute. The way to draw pleats is alternating on the hemline. So the in pleats, so the section that goes under, you want to draw the, draw the hemline a little up. So any section that is um, not the one that's been included to, draw it a little bit longer and you'll get that effect of, of pleats. Like you can kind of see this this hem here, you can get that dimension. And I like to you can slightly curve them up a little bit, and then the bottom ones you can slightly curve under, so you get this kind of squiggle shape, which is not the same as so you can kind of see. I draw fullness like if there's gathers, I I go like this, and then you kind of draw up from there. If there's like a little you know, flare, and you can draw these little tucks in there and that's like a more flu but if you have structured pleats what you want to do oh, that's kind of simple. so on these ones you can go up and then you kind of go down a little bit up and then down up so you can get that you can see that really dimension Oh, I love that. That is very cute. Oh, sorry, I thought I, I froze for a bit. There we go. Okay. Um, so let's draw a little top to it. I try to think what kind of shirt that I would like. Maybe something. What if like, a, I did like a woven t shirt? I think that would be nice. Mm hmm. It's perfect. I love the idea of this one too. And then I think maybe I could even do like a little waistband pocket in here or a little pocket that's yeah. a little like kind of slit little pocket right here that's a little opening with the zipper that would be cute and then kind of the pocket pouch would sit inside inside the yoke that would be really cute I'm trying to think of a woven top. Do you know what I could do? Is I could do a wrap top. That could be cute with a collar. Oh, what if I tried to do a little wrap top? Oops. And then, because you sometimes they have a little, you can have little collars on them. That would be super cute. Kind of ended right where you know, just wrapped along and tied at the back because you don't want a lot of fullness in in the front like big bows so i would tie in the back because you don't want anything to interfere with your swing so i try, try to avoid things you know um on my front Yeah, because wovens, a, a top like this, it's nice to have in a woven because it fits by wrapping around. I'm thinking of a 
need a little taller. You could just do a collars like you can kind of kind of get a little I've seen you know what I've seen call that is kind of cute like a little collar on a wrap top I think that is quite cute so this would be that like neon green like both of them but I would add some embroidery to this I would do some like little golf embroideries Okay. Right. Losing track of which my greens are. There we go. Yeah, I I need to make this pleated, uh, and I would have shorts underneath there for sure. Draw this my figure. Oh, this is a great lineup because I could wear. I could wear you know this wrapped. I could wear this wrapped top with these. I could wear that with that. I think that would totally work, like these two together, especially if I brought in some embroidery on there that has that color to it. I think that would totally work. I just now need to figure out the patterns that I want to use, but I'm sure. I've made the Peppermint Magazine wrap top pattern. It has long sleeves, but I would just shorten them. That would totally work for this. And the skirt, I might just draft it myself. Just draft a band and then a rectangle, and you just add pleats to it. And for the shorts, I would do, I would use our Loveland leggings. I've used that before for kind of shapewear shorts, and that works really great. I like the shape and fit of those, so I would just use those. Okay. Let's just fill in these pleats. Oh, these looks are so cute. Oh, how cute are these looks? Oh, I could wear those and that, and I'll probably just wear that all the time. <laughs> I love a skirt. Oh, how cute. I'm going to add some additional shading on this with some gray. On this look right here. Getting the kind of pleats to define those. Yeah, I really, I honestly, before doing this, the sketching, I didn't come in with lots of ideas that I was going to do. I just, which is, I was just gonna sit here and just see what comes to mind. So I love the end result, how these came out. Yeah, I would totally wear those two together and those two. Oh yeah. Let's get to another look, but, um, I will wrap it up for today. This was super fun. I am loving all of these looks. I like how they're all different too. We have a zipper top, we have a button up top, we have a wrap top. They can all work for golf. And if you have a sporty fabric, it can really make anything sporty. And if you have, um, just like a nice silhouette too, it's just, it just makes it fun. It's all about sewing the outfits and wearing the outfits for me. Can't wait to get on, on that golf course with, with all of these outfits, actually. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Um, I want to just say that these sketching lives are going to be now once a month instead of every two weeks. So we'll have kind of more a bigger theme for each month. So it'll probably be mid-month. So just make sure you Stay up to date on the So Daily homepage for the link and the date of our next live. But I want to thank you for joining me. And if you go go golfing or play tennis or if you get inspired to sew yourself any sporty look, just let me know and use the hashtag Fashion Sketching Live. Or is that it? <laughs> I know there's a hashtag. I'll let me read in the description. I've had, yes, Sketching with So Daily. But you can also use the Fashion Sketching Live. Just use both and, and I'll find it. All right.